Right, in this video we're going to talk about navel ill, which is simply an infection in the navel post-carving. It happens to quite a few calves. First thing to say is, if you think you have a problem with it in your herd, um, you need to contact your vet and um, get a plan in place for prevention and for treatment. So in this calf, this is a fairly newborn calf, um, <clears throat> I'll show you the navel. And as you can see here, we've got a lovely dry umbilical cord or navel cord um, and no discharge or swelling around it so this one has, has obviously been dipped or sprayed at, at birth and it's nicely shriveled up dry which means the bugs can't breed um, the problem is if the infection takes hold then the uh, the navel actually inside the calf travels up and connect with the liver. If the liver gets infected, the calf can get really sick and from then it can spread around the body uh, and even infect the joints and then that becomes joint ill. Right, we'll go and look at the rest of the calves now and see what we can do there. In a minute, I'm going to take you through how to perform a check of your calves to see if they've got any navel ill. Um, important thing to say again is that if you think you've got a problem, speak to your own vet and get their input for a prevention strategy and, and treatment. Before I do that, I want to talk about what likely things are causing you to have a problem if you do have a problem. So the things that contribute to navel ill are the burden of bugs in the environment, which starts off obviously where the calf is born. So look at your carving pens, are they mucky? Do they get mucked out between each carving? Um, second thing, as we discussed, was dipping the navels to try and dry them out, stop bugs being able to live in them, and to disinfect them and keep the bug load down. Um, then obviously, we need to look at the environment that the calves are living in once they've been taken away from the mothers. And uh, in the calving, calving shed, generally, uh, you want to look at the bedding material. Is it clean? How often is it mucked out? Uh, and also things like the ventilation. So the first thing we can see here is we've got lovely clean bedding. This is great. It's dry, it's clean, it's fresh. And obviously, the chances of there being a lot of bugs there to get in and infect the navel are pretty low. The second thing is ventilation, so smell the air, is it damp? If there's a lot of moisture about, a lot of humidity, then you're going to have problems. So I'll now talk about actually doing the, uh, the examination of a calf. So there's three things we're looking for. Uh, the first is, is it swollen? And the only way you're going to really get a judge of that is to feel normal navels first. They should be like the one we looked at first, very small and, and not thickened. <laughs> Second thing is, is there any discharge? Is there any pus there uh, and any wetness, which could be an indicator that there's a problem. And the third thing is, is it painful? So in this calf, just gently feel under. And if you watch, as I squeeze the navel, it just flinches, it tucks up its tummy there, its abdomen, and that's a, that's a sign of pain. So there's a bit of inflammation, a bit of swelling there, um, which is causing the calf some discomfort. So it has the first sign, if you like, the second thing is it is slightly swollen. This, this navel is about a centimetre and a half, two centimetres across. So it's a little bit thickened. There isn't really any discharge there. The actual stub is quite dry. So this one's got a mild, mild problem. So hopefully you'll feel confident now to go in and just check your calves. It's a very quick and easy thing to do. If you have any queries or doubts, get your vet involved and they can help you draw up a plan. This is an example, uh, when you're doing your checks, you might pick up other things, and this is a hernia, um, a very small one. If you put your fingers in, it's a bit sore, you can feel a little hole, it's about a centimetre across, that you can push everything up. So you might be tricked into thinking that's an infected navel, but it's not, it's a swelling because of some of the contents of the abdomen coming through.